recent years, the healthcare industry has witnessed a surge in injectable medications that aid in weight loss, especially for individuals grappling with obesity. Two of the most popular weight loss drugs on the market today are tirazepatide and semaglutide. Both were primarily approved for type 2 diabetes. However, now they're both approved for obesity because they exhibit the side effect of inducing feelings of fullness and curbing hunger pains. Because of these properties, they have become extremely popular weight loss drugs. But which specific drug should you choose for weight loss? Terzepatide or semaglutide? Let's talk about the basics first. What are terzepatide and semaglutide? Well, terzepatide is a dual agonist that affects both the GLP-1 receptors and another receptor called the glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide, or GIP. This medication works by controlling blood glucose levels, slowing down the digestive process, and sending satiety signals to the brain, making you feel full for longer periods of time. This allows you to avoid overeating and reduce your calorie consumption, thus aiding in weight loss. Semaglutide, marketed under the brand name Ozempic for Diabetes Management and Wegovy for Weight Loss, is a GLP-1 receptor agonist. It performs functions similar to terzepatide, but is also approved for preventing cardiovascular events. When injected, semaglutide regulates the hormones that signal satiety to your brain, making your brain think that you don't want to eat more. This allows you to stick to your weight loss diet with greater ease and comfort. So what's the effectiveness in weight loss for both of these? Well, clinical trials have demonstrated the effectiveness of both terzepatide and semaglutide in aiding weight loss. Terzepatide has shown more impressive results with over half of the study participants losing over 20% of their body weight when administered with the highest dose of 15 milligrams weekly, although many people cannot tolerate the 15 milligrams weekly. On the other hand, semaglutide has facilitated an average weight loss of up to 16% in a year with a 1 milligram to 2.4 milligram weekly dose, combined with lifestyle modifications such as diet and exercise. So strictly in terms of numbers on the scale, terzepatide edges out semaglutide just a little bit. However, they're both phenomenal drugs for weight loss. Both medications have the same side effects, predominantly affecting the digestive system. So a little bit of nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, abdominal pain are normal. However, they are very rare. Nausea is the most common side effect, and it occurs in 20% of trial participants at high, high doses. That's why it's always best to start low and slowly increase your dose so your body gets used to it without any nausea or side effects. Most individuals tolerate these effects because they diminish very quickly. The side effects will diminish even more as the body gets used to the medications over time. Given the very close similarities between the two medications, it's always challenging to kind of choose one over the other. So it's right here that your healthcare provider plays an important role. They will consider various factors, including your medical history, tolerance to potential side effects, finances, and they will recommend the medication that is most beneficial for you. Genesis offers both medications to support your weight loss journey. We also offer telehealth services, so you can access convenient virtual conversations with your healthcare provider and team who will review your medical history, discuss your goals, and recommend the most appropriate weight loss medication for your specific needs. If you have any questions, please reach out to us, comment below, like and subscribe for more content like this.